Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing another easy abstract kind of pour idea. Let's see what titanium, unbleached titanium is like as a pillow instead of white. I'm I'm not positive it's a good one, but let's see. So the colors are unbleached titanium. I've got like a phthalo green, sea green, a cobalt blue and a metallic copper. Right, so I'm going to move these to the side and let's get pouring and having fun just give this because oh that's blue paint i'll just give it a wipe so you have to be careful when you use wipes because sometimes they've got hairs on them and then you get hairs into your onto your canvas okay so we're just going to put our pillow in the center like normal i'm wondering how it's going to get out to the edges i must admit you know because like a square it travels to the you know the edges quite easily have I used because uh, I want to make sure I've got enough cream for my flicks so let me check I think that's enough you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my shape a little bit of my pillow because I'm a little bit nervous on how's that all that paint going to get out into the corners if it's around I, this might make no difference whatsoever, <laughs> but you know, in theory, let's see how this is going to help. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with my blue. So just random dropping color in. color out there it's looking a little bit empty maybe some bigger bits in the center and now my copper so I did these colors in a pour what it was with dirty pour that's right and they really look nice so I thought oh I wonder what they'd look like in this kind of easy abstract idea that I've this inspiration has come from JMO painting so you guys definitely need to go and check his channel it's got some really nice stuff there um, but this is a this is a nice easy one <laughs> it's probably why I'm doing it because pouring is fun but it can also be quite challenging sometimes and um, I think sometimes it's nice just to have an easy win. And this is an easy win. I think. Well, who knows? It we might not actually be so easy. I'm just keep on adding my colours. Make sure I've got enough to do flicks at the end. I'm sucking on a lozenge as I'm speaking to you because I found my throat was getting a bit dry. Too much talking. Sort of like the, the light, the blue. So that's why I've, I think I've switched the order there a little bit because I wanted to bring the blue back up to the top. Oh. I'm wondering if I've mixed too much paint. But you never know until you do the thing. So a bit more blue, and then I'm going to do the flicks. And I'm going to save those, the blue and the cream, to last. And I'm going to put the copper on first because I'm not liking the I'm, I'm liking the copper least of all. which is unusual because I usually really like copper. 
but it just feels a little bit messy here and I just I just wanted to see what the cream would be like you know I, I'm coming to the conclusion that I think these look better with a white pillow definitely the conclusion that I am drawing but you know you don't know this is the thing with acrylic with all painting but particularly acrylic pouring you kind of don't know until you've experimented with it and seen what it looks like you know what I mean Like I said, I've left kept the blue till last because I definitely like the blue them a lot in this combination. I wondered about using a metallic blue, but I think this cobalt blue was the right choice. Invest in a better turntable, there's no question. Ooh, that cream on top looks quite cool. And I wonder if I'm gonna have too much cream. Maybe. Too much flickies. Like doing a Jackson Pollock painting. That's one paint. I often do do Jackson Pollock paintings. People love my Jackson Pollocks. So maybe that's why I like this so much. I think I've got too much flickies. Anyway. Don't start disappearing yet. Paint. Send you back to the center. Right. So the idea was to try and do that square. Yeah, I have got a lot of paint on this canvas. Too much. Actually, I want to go in it quite close. Hmm. I'm gonna go back. What if you could? Doing it a second time muddies it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's start to spin. So I've clearly got a lot of paint happening. Oh. So I was trying to hold on to my that's also why I put a piece of plastic here because I wanted to see if I could hold on to because I know I need to invest in a better turntable it feels like it's all traveling this way Could be wrecking it now utterly and completely but i'm trying to bring up some of that other color so there's too much cream on this so the cream has come all the, all the way to, so using so much cream in the flicks big mistake huge huge I'm gonna blow it though because some of the other colors are clearly trying to come through so 
There's a couple of things I can see I think I've already done wrong. Hmm. I don't think I should have even blow torched it. I was gonna I'm gonna lose a lot of paint. Whoa! I want to open out that center. Lucky I've got a workshop that it's okay to get really nice and grubby in here. I think. Hmm. So. In summary. <clears throat> I had too much paint by far. I don't know how I miscalculated that one, but I did. So that's good to know. The other thing is. I needed more definite color in my pillow. It got and probably slightly less flickies. It's still quite a nice painting though. Um, I'm gonna get it, try and get it off the turntable. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. And then I'll bring you in to have a look at it. So that's you know taking it off the turntable. I'm actually liking it more than I expected to, to be honest. It's very cream, but it's quite different. So I'm not unhappy with it. I think I've got to go back to the drawing board a little bit and think about some of the things that I've been doing. Maybe look at some of the other videos that I've done. Because one of the things that I conceive that's already going to perhaps happen is that maybe a bit of fluctuant fluctuance might happen here with the paint sort of separating a bit which will be very disappointing if that happens again i'm not that unhappy i will bring you in for a close-up now so that's that's it and a close-up and you know i will share when it dries it might not necessarily be in this video it might be you know in another video but you're know, going in close it's it's it looks very um very jupiter uh you know the rings around the galaxy kind of thing you know and going in really close it's yeah very unexpected i think i would like it more have would have liked more color Did have a lot of cream flicks on the top and i think that was a mistake so first lesson you don't have to use all your paint like I said that area there worries me I mean they're actually tiny little cells but if this canvas if it sits for too long that could turn into sort of fluctuants so that does worry me but that's it on the table it's growing on me. But thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And, you know, please definitely subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Subscribe, like, share. Uh, I really appreciate it. This is the painting now that it's dried. And I think going around with the pattern a few times with my finger actually made this quite muddy. So I just wanted to share to show you what not to do. And, um, but otherwise it looks okay. It's not one of my best, but it looks okay. Thank you.